To successfully complete meiosis and produce a gamete, a cell must undergo two rounds of division. The first round, conveniently known as meiosis 1, reduces the number of chromosomes in the cell by half. The mechanisms the cell uses to accomplish this reductional division differs greatly from mitosis. In contrast, meiosis 2 is very similar to mitosis since the goal is to segregate a chromatid of each chromosome into separate daughter cells. For this reason, meiosis II is sometimes called an equational division. Like mitosis, the number of chromosomes in each daughter cell is unchanged compared to the mother cell. Let's examine the similarities and differences between meiosis II and mitosis a little more closely. Recall that meiosis I produced two cells which will behave exactly the same during meiosis II. Since both cells are going to undergo the same steps, let's just consider the meiosis II division of one of these cells, and then we can consider all of the products together at the end. So this cell is going to undergo interphase, prophase II, metaphase II, anaphase II, and finally, telophase 2. Meiosis 2 is preceded by a brief interphase. Now it's a special interphase because no DNA replication occurs in this case. Recall that meiosis 1 left each cell with only one set of homologous chromosomes. But each homologous chromosome consists of two chromatids. Like mitosis, the centrosome duplicates during interphase. Prophase II is the first step in meiosis II. Like mitosis and meiosis I, the chromosomes condense throughout this step. The centrosomes move to opposite poles and begin to form spindle fibers. Kinetochore proteins assemble on the outer chromatids of each chromosome, just as they do in mitosis. Meiotic spindle attaches to the kinetochores. And as in mitosis, our little kinetochore friend is busy working on those winches on either side of the chromosome. By adjusting the length of the microtubules on each side, the kinetochore positions each chromosome in the middle of the cell. And by the end of prophase II, the nuclear membrane has broken down and the meiotic spindle apparatus has assembled. Metaphase II is the second step in meiosis II. At metaphase II, each chromosome is aligned at the metaphase plate. As in mitosis, each chromosome is held in place at the metaphase plate by equivalent spindle tension on each side. Anaphase II is the third step in meiosis II. Like mitosis, anaphase II is initiated when the protein separates, cleaves the protein holding the chromatids together. Once this physical connection is broken, each chromatid is free to move to its respective pole. Telophase II is the fourth and final step of meiosis II. During telophase II, the nuclear membrane reforms and the chromosomes decondense. Cytokinesis completes the formation of four haploid gamete cells. Note that the chromosomal content of each gamete is slightly different due to homologous recombination and the manner in which the chromosomes sort into the gamete cells. We will see later how cytokinesis can be modified to produce even more specialized gametes. In summary, meiosis I is the first division of meiosis in which the number of chromosomes in the cell is reduced by half. Meiosis II is the second division in meiosis in which chromatids of each chromosome are segregated equally into daughter cells. No DNA replication occurs during the interphase which precedes meiosis II. Prophase II is the first step in meiosis II. Like mitosis and meiosis I, chromatin condenses, centrosomes move to opposite poles, and a spindle apparatus forms.
Kinetochores assembled at the centromeres work with spindle microtubules to guide the chromosomes to the metaphase plate. Metaphase II is the second step in meiosis II. By metaphase II, each chromosome is aligned at the metaphase plate. Anaphase II is the third step in meiosis II. During anaphase II, the physical connection between sister chromatids is broken, allowing them to move toward the spindle poles. Telophase II is the fourth and final step of meiosis II. During telophase II, the nuclear membrane reforms and the chromosomes decondense. The cytokinesis, which follows meiosis II, establishes four gametes with different genetic content. As we draw to a close on meiosis and cell division, I'll leave you with one last poetic study aid. Meiosis is but halfway started, but chromatids now must be parted. No replication precedes this act, yet genome size remains intact. As division number two completes, meiosis leaves haploid gametes. Thank you.